Good morning, my walking warriors. It is Monday, and I've decided to have today's discussion be about dietary changes and diets, crash diets, fad diets, what have you. Disclaimer, before you do any major changes to your dietary system, please discuss this with your doctor as with any kind of exercise program. You never know what may be best for you, especially if you're diabetic or have high cholesterol and you have to watch out for these certain things. So let's talk about dietary fads. The keto diet, the Brazilian diet, the Atkins diet, these are all dietary fads. And though they may work for some, they're also considered crash diets. And they may work for a short time period. I know of a couple people who have lost some weight or lost a lot of weight doing keto, but as soon as they stopped eating the same diet every single day and started introducing new foods into their diet, they started to gain the weight back. These are what you call crash diets or fad diets where they work for a short time period, but in the end, if you change your dietary regimen, your weight starts to come back. I didn't do any of these crash diets or fad diets. I just did a few simple things with my diet. Some of which included, we took hamburger, like regular ground beef out of our diet and switched it to ground turkey. Instead of having steaks, which we do enjoy a good steak every now and then, but we make sure that the fat is trimmed off of them. And instead of having steaks a lot, we switch to chicken breast, mainly boneless, skinless chicken breast. And you can actually do a lot with chicken breast. You can put barbecue sauce on it, which they do make low sugar barbecue sauce they do make barbecue sauce that's not going to tank your cholesterol or make your blood sugar raise up. Um, we like teriyaki sauce, which just so you know, teriyaki sauce does have a lot of sugar in it, so it does raise your blood sugar, but it is a good way to marinate your steaks. Also, Worcestershire sauce is really good. I hope I said that right. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Anyways, you get my point. That's like aluminum. It's one of those words I can't really say right. Um, when we have spaghetti, I always get the no sugar added spaghetti sauce. We make sure to add healthy foods into our diets, fruits, vegetables, though you have to be very careful with fruits and vegetables because they do contain a large amount of sugar. Um, one thing that I've noticed after talking to a dietitian a couple of times is I used to eat a lot of junk food and I used to live in Yakima, Washington, and they had this place called Ron's Hamburgers, and they have the best soft-serve chocolate ice cream cones, and it almost tastes like Haagen-Dazs, which is like my one, my one kryptonite is Haagen-Dazs ice cream, and it's the closest thing to soft serve you can get that tastes like haagen -Dazs. Sorry about the car noise. It's busier than normal today. Um, I, when I was pregnant with my son, I used to eat a lot of Ron's ice cream and hot Cheetos and milk. Which... No wonder I got gestational diabetes, right? It really caused my blood sugar to rise up. 
and there was a girl that was pregnant with her child the same time I was pregnant with Michael and it was like a competition she was diagnosed with gestational diabetes as well and she would go through my stuff and read my blood sugar readings and she would be very upset because she couldn't understand why her blood sugar readings were high as well and she didn't eat the same things that I did and she felt it wasn't fair and blah 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 but she drank those naked juices which contains a lot of sugar they say that they're good and healthy for you which they may be don't get me wrong I really like the green goodness um, naked juice it's got like apples and pears and a whole bunch of other fruits in it and spirulina bacteria to help your digestive tract and a whole bunch of other um, good things to, probiotics basically to help your digestive tract and she would drink those by the caseload pretty much and she couldn't understand why her blood sugar was so high well it's because these juices which claim to be wholesome and claim to be good for your body add a lot of sugar to your diet and you got to really be careful with stuff like that You've also got to be really careful with what you put in your mouth. Now, they do have these companies where you can order meals that you can um, prepare at home. HelloFresh is one of them. And I was fortunate enough to try one of these HelloFresh meals when a friend of mine went out of town and she wasn't going to be able to cook it. And she was afraid it was going to go bad before she got back. And you can actually order meals from HelloFresh based on your dietary needs. And the meal that she shared with me was a chicken quesadilla and it had boneless, skinless chicken breast. It had um, pepper jack cheese, Monterey jack cheese. And it was really good. It was actually a very good meal. So if you were to go with any of these pre-prepped meal order companies, I would say HelloFresh would be the one. Now, I'm not sponsored by HelloFresh. They do not sponsor my videos. So please don't think that I have any kind of sponsorship for them or I'm talking positively about them because I'm sponsored. I'm not sponsored. I honestly do stand on the beliefs that they do have wholesome good meals. Milk. Milk can raise your blood sugar. And instead of drinking whole milk, you can switch to 2% or even 1% milk. Um, I like 1% milk, but we stick with 2% milk because my children like 2% and they refuse to drink 1% milk. My husband isn't really that picky. He'll drink 1% milk, but he prefers 2% milk. Sodas. Sodas contain a lot of sugar. Diet sodas don't contain sugar, but they have aspartame in them, which can really kind of wreak havoc on your body if you're diabetic because it tricks your body into thinking that there's sugar in the soda and after a while your body can actually start to think that you're receiving sugars when you're not and not to mention it makes you urinate a lot for some reason i believe aspartame is kind of a diuretic 
fruit juices are bad for you. If you're a juice lover like my son is, um, B8 Splash has a lot of sugar. <clears throat> and that's his favorite. I like a good low sodium tomato juice that doesn't have very much sugar in it at all. They also have a low sugar or a sugar free juice that you can get, which isn't too horribly bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, what I'm saying is, is if you're going to go on a diet, make sure that it's not a fad diet. Just change your whole outreach of how you look at foods and change your whole outreach of how you plan out your meals. Meal planning actually helps a lot with that. Sit down and figure out, okay, this is what I want to make for my family this week or the next two weeks or the next month. And then you can go to the store, buy accordingly, and if you have um, freezer bags or if you have one of those vacuum sealers, you can seal up the meals in a vacuum sealer. It is time timely to do that. It does take a long period of time to do that, but it is well worth the time that you put into it. And make it to where it's not just you and solely you that is working on this diet. Have it be your entire family. Families can actually benefit from going on to a new cleaner way of eating themselves. It's not just something that just you need to worry about. My 12 year old son is overweight and I really worry about his health. So if I buy soda, I always buy diet and he's actually started drinking diet. When it comes down to it, he'll grab a diet instead of a regular pop out of the fridge that my husband enjoys to drink. Um, if I cook meals, he's actually gotten into the group of eating ground turkey instead of hamburger, and he doesn't even notice the difference, honestly. You really can't notice the difference. Coming up with your own recipes is a good way to work. I know my biological father makes a shepherd's pie that he's come up with all on his own. <clears throat> and it's his own recipe how he makes everything so don't feel defeated when it comes to changing your whole aspect and don't forget to get out there and walk go for an evening walk after you eat dinner Go for a morning walk after you've had breakfast. I know that this morning I kind of cheated on my diet. I had a bowl of cocoa puffs. But the only reason why I did that was because my blood sugar was a little low and I needed to get some sugar and carbs into my system. And that's probably not the best excuse in the world. But it's the quickest way to bring my blood sugar up. Normally, I just have Eggo waffles, but we're running kind of low on Eggo waffles at the moment. So I decided to save those and just go with the quick and easy way of bringing my blood sugar up. My son also likes Raisin Bran, and you know, Raisin Bran, you hear Raisin Bran and you think, okay, that's really healthy, that's good for you, but did you know that Raisin Bran actually has a ton of sugar in it, which is not good for your body? 
when they make raisin bread, not only do they put kind of a sugary film on the bread flakes to make them more app appetitable. I don't know. I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. But they also coat the raisins in the sugar to make them more um, I really wish I could come up with the word I'm thinking of. It's like right there on the tip of my tongue, but I can't, I just can't pull it up right at the moment. So be careful about the cereals that you eat. What may, what you may think is healthy, Cheerios says heart healthy. It's heart healthy maybe, but is it diabetically healthy? Cheerios has a lot of carbs and if it's Honey Nut Cheerios, it's coated in honey, which I do like a good bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios. Sorry, I'm still trying to think of what that word is that I'm trying to think of. Um, Don't think that you can't do this. Don't think, oh my goodness, she's throwing so much information at me. I don't know what to do because honestly, at first I thought, wow, this is going to be so difficult. I've got to change my whole aspect of thinking about food. But once you start doing it, once you start thinking, okay, I can do this. It really isn't that hard. Switching from red meat to poultry was not that hard. We enjoy poultry. We enjoy chicken. We enjoy turkey. And not just during Thanksgiving either. When you buy lunch meat instead of buying honey baked ham lunch meat. Why don't you just grab a thing of roasted turkey? See, it's just not that hard. And um, instead of reaching for a roll of or a, a, a wrapped package of hamburger, reach for that ground turkey instead. It's really easy and you might surprise yourself. You might find that, hey, this is actually really good. And you know, fish is really good for your diet too. I like good salmon. I've never really experimented with other kinds of fish. I've had trout before, but I wasn't a big fan. It tasted too, I don't know, lakey, I guess you could say. It tasted like nasty lake water to me. I'm really particular with that. It's like game meat. It's too gamey for me, like deer and elk. And my biological father likes like deer and elk and bear and stuff like that and I just I can't I just can't but there are people out there that enjoy that and I'm not sure what the nutritional value is of game meat I'm not sure if it's fatty or if it's healthier than ground turkey. I'm not sure. See, when you cook ground turkey, what comes out of the turkey versus what comes out of hamburger. When you cook hamburger, grease comes out, right? You have to drain your hamburger meat to get the grease to come out of the pan. 
But when you cook ground turkey, it basically cooks down to water. There's not much grease at all. And that's actually really good for you because it's not, I don't like grease. I can't stand to eat potato chips. To me, if I eat a potato chip, I feel like my arteries are clogging in my chest as I take a bite. It's just, I don't know, I'm weird. <laughs> I'm really weird like that. But, You can do this. I have faith in you. And if any of you guys live close to the Hillsborough area and would like to join me on my morning walks, I'm more than happy then to have you join me. Um, now that's Hillsborough, Oregon, not Hillsborough County, Florida. Or I know that there's a couple of Hillsboroughs in the United States, but I'm talking Hillsborough, Oregon. And I'm more than happy to have the company. That way I'm not constantly looking like I'm talking to myself or I'm filming these videos by myself. I could actually have a partner filming these. They could come up with the words that are on the tip of my tongue that I just can't think of. So keep that disclaimer in mind. Before you change your dietary needs, meet with your doctor. He may send you to a dietitian, which is perfectly fine. Don't fear the dietitian. The dietitian's there to help. Um, at first, I was a little uneasy to go see a dietitian, and my son actually has to see a dietitian for himself, too. And basically all they'll do is go over the food pyramid. Now, there may be a different food pyramid for diabetic folks, but honestly, I had my A1C levels done less and my diabetes was so low and so controlled that my A1C had dropped to a point, it was like 6.1 and I believe diabetic is 6.4. I'm still diabetic though. I'm always going to be diabetic. It just means that my diabetes is under control. And though my blood sugars have been kind of wonky the last month or so, that's okay. I'm doing what I need to do to take care of it. So you have a great day. Get out there and get walking. Be safe when you walk. If you live in a sketchy neighborhood, take a friend, take mace, take a something to protect yourself or go to a local park where there are people around that's not so sketchy. I don't suggest walking in a sketch neighborhood. I suggest suggest walking where it's safe getting a gym membership is always a good thing because there's a lot of gyms that have indoor walking tracks that you can do or indoor jogging tracks so you can do that or they have treadmills or you could always get on treadmill um but anyways you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Leave comments below if you like this video. Hit the like button. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.